Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mirza Suhey Big and uh, you're watching my channel and uh, today I am going to discuss the communication one, the uh, chapter name is communication one and topic name is invertebrate nervous system. What do you know about invertebrates? Invertebrates are the organisms that uh, doesn't have vertebral column, they, there is no vertebral column is present, these are the simplest uh, uh, group of uh, uh, animals and uh, what do you know about invertebrate, uh, uh, what do you know about the invertebrate nervous system? And nervous system uh, that is a structure that consists of different uh... so in this invertebrate nervous system uh, we will discuss uh, the different things about the nervous system like the nervous system of protozoans uh, the simplest most uh, animals and spawns the first uh, uh, phylum of animal kingdom phylum porifera so all the cells respond to some stimuli and convey information both internally and externally jitne cells hote hain body mein wo sari ki sari sari jo hai internally internal response hota hai internal stimulus hota hai aur external stimulus dono ko response kar sakte hain although no real nervous system koi bhi nervous system nahi hai koi centralized nahi hai nervous system na diffuse nervous system hai तो लेकिन जो सेल्स हैं वो रिस्पांस जरूर करते हैं और उनका स्टिमुलस को रिस्पांस करने की सलाहियत जरूर है फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे प्रोटोजोन की सीलिया की रेगुलर जो बीटिंग होती है ड्यू टू द स्टिमुलस ऑफ लाइट लाइट के अकॉर्डिंगली लाइट की इंटेंसिटी को देखते हुए इनके अंदर जो सीलिया सिलेटेड मूवमेंट है और देन उसकी तरफ मूव करना है कि उसे अवे मूव करना है लाइट से तो ये कोऑर्डिनेशन जो है इनके नर्वस सिस्टम में एग्जिस्ट करती है मुख्तफ एनिमल्स हैं उनके टिश्यू लेवल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होती है जैसे कि हम देखते हैं कि डिप्लोब्लास्टिक एनिमल्स हैं ट्रिप्लो प्लास्टिक एनिमल्स हैं डिप्लो प्लास्टिक एनिमल्स और डिप्लो प्लास्टिक एनिमल्स चूंकि नेक्स्ट जो फाइलम है फाइलम नाइडेरिया जिसमें जेलीफिश हाइड्रा ये ऑर्गेनिजम्स आ जाते हैं इनके अंदर डिप्लो प्लास्टिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो क्या उससे नेक्स्ट जितने भी फाइलम प्लेटियन बनती है ऑनवर्ड वो सारे ट्रिप्लो प्लास्टिक है डिप्लो प्लास्टिक ऐसे एनिमल्स को बोलते हैं डाई वर्ड मीन टू ब्लास्ट मीन लेयर्स सो ट्राई मीन थ्री ब्लास्ट मीन लेयर्स सो डिप्लो प्लास्टिक दैट हैव एक्टोडम एंड एंडोडम दैट मीन मिजोरम इज एब्सरी Diploblastic. While triploblastic, in which the three body layers, the first one is the ectoderm, middle is the mesoderm, and third one is the triplobla, uh, and third one is the endoderm. So these are the triploblastic animals that have a true kind of nervous system. So there are the many evolutionary trends uh, for the evolution. There are many evolutionary trends uh, for the uh, for the nervous system. The first trend, nerve net. So the first trend, which is nerve net, is trend. Which is Nadarian. So we have Nadarian, which means hydra, jellyfish, sea animals, which are all there. और इनके अंदर बॉडी देखें तो एक लेटिस वर्क है लेटिस वर्क मतलब एक ऐसे जैसे जाल बचा हुआ है करना उसका और वो पूरी बॉडी पे इर्द मौजूद है और ये बॉडी को इम्पल्स को बाई डायरेक्शन मूव करवाती है लोअर साइड से अपवर्ड साइड अपवर्ड साइड से लोअर लोअर साइड पे मूव करवा देती है ऐसे जेलीफिश के अंदर देखें तो जेलीफिश के अंदर स्लो मूविंग मूविंग भी होती है जेलीफिश के अंदर रेपिड मूवमेंट भी होती है तो दोनों की तरह की मूवमेंट जो है वो ये नर्व नेट ही कंट्रोल करता है उनके अंदर लाइक इन दिस केस यू कैन सी है Uh, that lattice work of the nerve nets in case of uh, hydra uh, very uh, fine small uh, yellowish color uh, net network of nerves uh, that these are present on the tentacles mouth and uh, all around its uh, gastrovascular cavity so this is uh, about the first uh, evolutionary trend uh, this trend is also present in echinoderms like uh, Uh, starfish like sea urchin like sea cucumber uh, in which uh, the complexity is very high um, so that's why another kind of uh, uh, evolution trend is also present in case of the the kind of but this basic uh, evolutionary trend is also uh, existed so the first one uh, there is the in sea star three distinct nerve nets the first nerve net jo hai wo iski skin ke niche hoti hai aur iski iski aap keh sakte ho ki iske jo ring ke naal hai usko ird gird se wrap kar rahi hoti hai use circumoral circumoral ring bolte hain aur usse five nerve cord nikalti hain aur five nerve cord run karti hain into the each arm of the starfish सेकेंड नर्व नेट जो है वो मसल्स जो होता है ऑसिकल्स के दरमियान और थर्ड वन जो है वो इसके ट्यू फीट के साथ कनेक्टेड होता है ये सारे के सारे नर्व नेट जो है वो लोकोमोशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बॉडी को रिफ्लेक्सेस बॉडी के रिफ्लेक्सेस के हवाले से हाई डिग्री ऑफ सेंट्रल कोऑर्डिनेशन के हवाले से देखा जाता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब एक सी स्टार जो है वो फ्लिप करती है यानी वो अपने आप को टर्न बैक करती है फ्लिप डाउन फ्लिप ऑन करती है तो इस सेंस में uh, वो जो है नर्वस सिस्टम ही रिस्पॉन्सिबल होता है उसको फ्लिपिंग करवाने में सो यू कैन सी this kind of uh, nerve net in also in case of uh, uh, these uh, uh, echinoderms like in this case brittle star here is a circumoral ring uh, same like in the starfish a circumoral ring present around the ring canal that is a part of uh, water canal system uh, so this is the nerve net in this case so you can see here uh, there are the apical uh, systems uh, and here is a hyponeural system 
uh, and actuarial systems. These are the systems uh, of the null beds. So that these, this is the st uh, structure of Q feed. Uh, so as we have already uh, discussed that uh, these, these kind of systems are also present in the, uh, in the tube feeds. So this is the tube feed. Next one is about the second trend, that is a cephalization trend, a very important cephalization mean formation of the head, formation of the brain, or flat worms or round worms, the nervous system exists, and the organism moves in the forward direction, so it has sensory organs. Like, if we talk about flat worms, it has a plane area, and the plane area can have eye spots, which can help it move. The second trend is cephalization, that is a concentration of receptor and nervous tissues in the animal anterior end. So, as the nervous system is properly in the body anterior end, this is an example of flat worms nervous system, which is ganglion. Ganglion is the concentration of cell bodies. So, uh, you can say that uh, MC is very important and underline that the ganglion acts as a primitive brain. The ganglion is actually the structure that has played a primitive brain. Ka role play kiya. So in this diagram, uh, you can see that uh, this is the brain and uh, this brain is known as a cerebral ganglion. Uh, but uh, here is the presence of lateral nerve cords, uh, lateral nerve cords uh, that uh, run uh, all over the body of uh, this platform or planaria uh, from the anterior end to the posterior end. So this, is the, uh, sec this was the second. Uh, evolution trend. Now, the third evolution trend that is a presence of bilateral symmetry. This one is a very important character in bilateral symmetrical organism. The type of animals that uh, can be uh, cut into two equal half when the plane of Tuvian passing through the central axis. The only single plane of Tuvian is can pass through this bilateral animal and divide this animal into two mirror images. That is a right, right image and uh, the second one is a left image. Uh, distinct lateral nerve cords hai, in key donor sites where or uh, sensory information jo hai, peripheral to the head ganglion. Head ganglion ke peripheral side se ye jo hai, information carry karti hai aur then uska response jo hai, wo motor impulses ki form mein jo hai, ganglion back karta hai muscles ko. Ye lateral nerve cords hai, ye third uh, nervous system ko represent karte hai jo ke bilateral uh, symmetrical jaysi ke triploblastic uh, uh, animals just jin uh, mein flat ones a jate hai unme bilateral symmetry bhi hoti hai. To bilateral symmetry could lead to paired neurons in mein neurons hoti hai, muscles uh, connection of that sensory structures of the other brain that you have uh, is made connected with that the pairing facilitate coordinate movement like climbing crawling flying walking yes are animals can the joe trends that you need climb karna kisses with the picture jana crawl karna move karna flying jana or now or walk can really this this one was a very important uh, structure so again in this case uh, uh, plane area so that's why it is a cerebral ganglion the next one is about the fourth trend of ganglion that is whether in annelids and arthropods nervous system. Annelids or arthropod nervous system, annelids that include the nearies, it consists of the earthworm, uh, or you can say that uh, leads so present in the annelids. While on the other hand, arthropods are group, uh, the largest animal phylum um, is, is the arthropod and uh, mainly consists of the largest class uh, name is the insects, insecta. So in in the that your fourth evolution trend was making ganglion uh, highly developed way or ganglions are uh, uh, proper uh, working eye. In addition to small centralized brain, further advance can be seen in the nervous system of crustacean, uh, just like crabs, annelids, or arthropods can there be a uh, fourth trend to ever exist to arise. Exon join into nerve cord. Exon join ki uh, that is the uh, last part of uh, their uh, neurons which uh, join kari or join kari ke unhone ek long nerve cords when I peripheral ganglion coordinate kiya or wo body puri ki body body region se coordination hui. Ganglion can occur in each segment uh, can be scattered throughout the body close to the organ they regulate. Any uh, ganglion jai wo ek jai wo concentrated form mein bhi mujood hai fourth evolution trend mein aur puri ki puri body ke andar bhi ganglion exists kerte hai scattered form mein bhi present hai. So these ganglion represent the fourth evolution trend a more complex animal, a more interneurons. Agar ek uh, animal ko dekhna ki usme kiti complexity hai nervous system ki to uske liye zuri hai ki ye dekhna ki jo intermediate neurons hai, jine interneurons bolte hai, jine associative neurons bolte hai, uh, jine relay neurons bhi bolte hai. Ye neurons kitni hai? Agar jitni zyada ye neurons hongi, intermediate neurons ko iska matlab utna hi zyada wo complex animal hoga, apne nervous system ki wale se advancement hoga, uska complex behavior hoga. So this one is the here in this case, you can see uh, in case of crab, like this is the cerebral ganglion. This is the, uh, these are the circumesophageal circum ganglion connectives uh, that uh, spread throughout the body. Uh, so in this case, uh, you can see here uh, the earthworm and uh, the whole over the body of earthworm consists of uh, uh, 
uh, nerves, uh, the, there is a brain cerebral ganglion from uh, at the interior side, and this is the network of nerves. And uh, uh, when the concentration of uh, uh, cell bodies, uh, so this this form the ganglionic structure. So brain, ventral nerve cord, brain, ventral nerve cord, ganglia, and peripheral nerves of the earthworm. ये जो है ये सारी सही फोर्थ एवोल्यूशन ट्रेंड की ही एग्जांपल है टेस्टिशियन जो है वो प्रिंसिपल गेंगलियन और विस्ट्रल कनेक्टिव नर्व्स विस्ट्रल दैट मीन इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स जो है विस्ट्रल ऑर्गन्स जो है उनके लिए जो नर्व्स हैं वो विस्ट्रल कनेक्टिव नर्व्स कहलाती हैं स्टारफिश नर्वस सिस्टम जैसे कि हमने पहले पढ़ा कि फर्स्ट एवोल्यूशन ट्रेंड भी है जिसे नर्व नेट बोलते हैं और अब फोर्थ वन जो है ये भी एवोल्यूशन ट्रेंड है जो स्पेसिफिकली गेंगलियनिक सिस्टम पर मुश्किल है तो इसके अंदर एक्टोन्यूरल सिस्टम रिटेन अ प्रिमिटिव एपिडर्मल पोजीशन एंड कंबाइंड सेंसरी एंड मोटर फंक्शन a radial nerve extend down the lower surface of each arm a deeper hydroneural a hyponeural system has a motor function jo sensory function hai wo actoneural ke actoneural jo upper side pe top pe aur wo sare ke sare messages receive karegi aur then jo motor function hai that mean response responsive function hai wo actually hyponeural system kar raha hota hai jo below to the upper layer or skin ki deep layers mein present hota hai is tarah apical jo system hai wo bhi sensory function ki taur pe role play karta hai the fifth and the last evolutionary trend of the nervous system is called as a brain there is a highly developed highly advanced form of nervous system like in in our case we are uh, we have also brain but uh, the in case of invertebrate the last one is the development of brain and uh, uh, this one is developed in the highly advanced uh, uh, modernized uh, animals like octopus like squids uh, that have a very sharp brain so the fifth trend is the consequence of increasing number of interneuron jaise maine shuru mein bataya ki jitni zyada neuron interneurons hongi utna hi brain highly develop hoga more interneurons are connect, concentrated in the interior bilateral organized uh, ganglion the brain ब्रेन जो है वो लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ न्यूरो मुश्किल है ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्स एनिमल है और ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इस बिहेवियर वही लास्ट वाली बात जो हमने पहले डिस्कस कर चुके हैं तो वर्टिब्रेट्स ब्रेन जो है वो एक्सीलेंट एग्जांपल है इस इस ट्रेंड की लेकिन अगर इन वर्टिब्रेट की चुके देख रहे हैं तो यहाँ पर स्क्विड है आपके सामने सिफेलोपोड क्लास सिफेलोपोडा और इसके ब्रेन देख लें और कॉम्प्लेक्स बिहेवियर होता है ये इतने कॉम्प्लेक्स बिहेवियर होता है इवन ये जो ऑक्टोपस है ये मेमोराइज करता है ये ये चीज़ों को याद रखता है और इस तरह स्क्विड भी स्क्विड के अंदर ये करेक्टर भी है स्क्विड की बॉडी देखें तो दीज आर द आईज द टेंटिकल्स प्रेजेंट एंड एज यू नो दिस वन इज द लार्जेस्ट इनवर्टिब्रेट इन इनवर्टिब्रेट ग्रुप सो ये लार्जेस्ट इनवर्टिब्रेट भी है इसके बॉडी टेंटिकल्स पे माउथ पे और देन ये लोअर बॉडी पार्ट्स हैं इसके पे मुश्किल होती है लेकिन बहुत ही कॉम्प्लेक्स ब्रेन है बहुत ही हाई अमाउंट ऑफ हाई नंबर ऑफ इंटरन्यूरोन्स है और बिहेवियर बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स है जबकि इसके साथ कनेक्शन होता है नर्व्स का नर्व फाइबर्स का और गेंगलियन का सो दिस वन इज टोटली अबाउट द फाइव एवल्यूशरी